Hey you guys, what is up? It is Carl Plankin with Plankins Networking, and today we're going to be showing you guys a pretty fun video uh, for Internet Information Services. For those of you that are hosting a server in your home network and you want to add some subdomains to this, you're going to find this video interesting. We'll be showing you guys today how to add subdomains to your main domain. So, first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to launch Internet Information Services. For us, that's just right here, and uh, it just down here in our taskbar, and under our start menu. You guys can find that fairly easily. It's not too hard. Uh, then you're going to want to go to the uh, domain you want to add uh, subdomains to and you're going to want to right click on it. So actually no, not right click on it. You're going to want to uh, click on it right here. Okay and once you've clicked on it right here just come here and click and stop that domain. Uh, so that there's nothing broadcasting to it right now. Now the next thing you're going to want to do, for those of you that are using this with your host file, you're going to want to open that up now. I already have mine opened up right here. And we're just going to come in here and add our subdomain. And we're just going to do subdomain donkeykong.com. And we're going to save this. Oh, okay, actually, whoops. One sec, you guys. You do want to run this as administrator. It will not let you do this unless you do run it as administrator. So now we're going to save it. We're going to close this, and we're going to come here and click Add a Website. Now, when you're doing this, I highly recommend uh, doing it this way. I would name the site whatever your subdomain is. For us it's going to be subdomain dot donkey kong dot com. Now when you're doing a physical path I, I recommend that you guys do the uh, directory with a subfolder under it that you used for your uh, main website. So for us it's donkey kong dot com we're going to do subdomain dot donkey Kong.com, and we're going to use this as a physical uh, directory. Okay, next thing we're going to assign an IP address to this, and then assign our domain name. Uh, we're just going to paste it in there like we had before. Kong. I hope I didn't say that as dot comments. I did. My bad. Save this. Sorry, one sec, you guys. Okay, and we're going to save this as .com, make sure it saves. Did that save? Okay, and we're just going to add this. Okay, now we're going to come here to our main domain, and we're going to start this again. Uh, you guys actually don't have to start stop this if you don't want to. I just do because it seems to set all the issues with domain resolution. So that's just how I do it. Like I said, though, you guys do not have to do that if you do not feel like it. I now we're okay. So as you can see, uh, a default document has not been configured for the requested URL. Yes, uh, we are we're aware of that. So we're gonna go do that really quick, and we're gonna go to websites donkeykong.com. We're just gonna copy this, paste it in here, and then open it with Notepad plus plus. And then change it, erase this, and change it to h2. This is our subdomain coming soon. And save. And then close that. And now, if we refresh it, this is our subdomain coming soon. So that's how you guys know you, you, you did it right. Uh, I did misspell that right there. You guys don't uh, kill me for that. Anyways, you guys, that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and liked it. If you did, make sure to give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment your questions below. And also, feel free to subscribe. Not only that, you guys, we did finally set up a Patreon page. If you feel like supporting us and you like our videos, you can go there. Donate a dollar a month. 
50 cents a month, whatever you want. I don't feel obligated. That's just if you guys want to. Anyways, you guys, thanks for watching again, and peace out. Yeah.